Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at the new announcements for Pokemon Go and there are a lot. So we're going to just start right with the new season that's going to come. And if you didn't see that already, it looks actually pretty decent to be honest. Like we have like totally normal. We have like Go Battle League rank reset after this season. We're going to get tomorrow. Remember to use the star piece, the normal Stardust rewards and everything which we already had. So nothing too special. Here's the um, season, like how it's been on gold. We have, of course, every day, like every day, every week, a new cup or even two cups. Actually, always two cups available. We have Great League, Johto Cup again. Kind of not that exciting, but we have other things that are going to be exciting, which I'm going to talk about afterwards. Ultra League, Ultra League Premier Classic, pretty standard Laugh Cup again, which is... Hmm, I mean, we just had it. Little Cup, I guess it's actually funny again to watch. Like, I'm definitely going to try to use, like, every special cup as well. I think it's cool. Catch Cup. I don't think anybody going to play the Catch Cup, to be honest. Catch Cup is just, um, you catch Pokemon in, like, a certain amount of time. We're just going to take a look at this later as well. We have Master League coming up. We have Halloween Cup coming up, which is also cool. Our Retro Cup is a cup that every, like, a lot of people actually really wanted to get again. Then we have the Kanto Cup, which is going to be cool. We have the Flying Cup, which is going to be cool. Maybe we're going to get Gust again on the um, Pidgeot. We have the Element Cup, which was actually pretty fun to play, in my opinion. And then we're already at the end of the season. We have like so many different cups, which I really enjoy. They're going to be a timed research ticket, which you can get in the shop, I think. Yeah, in the shop available free once, like for people who like dedicated battles. It's basically, it seems like, um, what's it called? Like a season pass or something like this. A battle pass, which you have like in other games as well, which looks really amazing, in my opinion, gonna be cool. It says like it's a small amount of stardust, but most likely you're gonna get something else as well. Um, but we will see what this is gonna be, gonna be very interesting. We have a seal day, which you definitely kind of want to take advantage of. Like, you're gonna get Icy Wind and Ice Shot, both legacy moves, both needed on Dugong if you evolve it during the um, time there. It's from like 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. on the March 5th, which is cool. Um, we have 20 battles again, which is also cool, like 20 resets, so 100 battles, which is really, really cool from basically the entire day. And the thing here is you get like only, only like Pokemon encounter for seal and in the premium tech, if you just like, use a pass so that you also like only have reward encounters. I wouldn't do this. This doesn't seem to be worth it. Not for seal. You kind of want to have low PP, I guess like low attack. So it's a cool thing. We're going to get like Gladian shoes and in general, a Gladian outfit for the most, like for the season in general, which is going to be cool. We have like go battle day beginners paradise. We have like a large amount of XP that you're going to get, which is really nice. We're going to get like end of a set avatar rewards, which is also cool with the Gladian hoodie. We in general get like everything about Gladian, which is very nice. It's like a new um, character from generation seven, which you're going to come to afterwards. We have the active cups there, little cup in Great League, like pretty starter. We have the mega stardust surprise. Four times Stardust for win rewards and a mega surprise. So most likely we're gonna have, um, I guess, a special cup with mega Pokemon. I don't think that, like, I think that must be the case here. Otherwise they wouldn't put it like this. Gotta be very interesting. We get like another Gladian item there, which is gonna be funny. Um, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, like most likely you're gonna have like some special cup where you can use a mega Pokemon um, only during like one day. I mean, it would be funny, but uh, I think it's gonna be more like a meme, but I, they're trying stuff out, which I like, which I really like. And here we're gonna go to the encounters we already see. Yangus at rank one already. That's already a new Pokemon that can be shiny as well. We have all these starters from generation seven starting at rank six, which is gonna be so exciting to hunt for them, especially with good IVs already. We have the Rockruff, which is locked behind raids, which you're gonna see later on, in shiny available. This looks amazing in terms of encounters that you can get. Like your Phantom is cool, Scraggy is cool, Rufflet is cool. Honestly, like the encounters are amazing. We have also Picky Pack, which is also a new one, which I skipped. Um, you're gonna see on my channel, of course, all the new Pokemon as well. I try to feature as many as I can. Here we see what we can get during the season. Of course, those are locked behind those special events. And we get this animated pose, which they already animated here, which I think looks cool. You, you see the entire outfit. We're gonna get like the Elite Charge and Elite Fast TM. Elite Charge TM already at rank 19. And here we have all the cups. I kind of want to see the Catch Cup rules. Um, okay, during the counted during the duration of the cup eligible. I don't think this is a smart idea, but um, I mean, they can do it. Nobody gonna play it anyway. Next up, we're gonna have the community day for March, March community day. 
I'm actually excited for this thing again. We have a Sanchu and a Lone Sanchu featured, and both of them spawning in the wild. Both of them can be shiny. A Lone Sanchu is good for Great League as an XL as a Hundo. I don't know how the normal Sanchu is. I think it's not as this good. But uh, this thing gets Night Slash, which is a really cool. I think that's going to help him a lot out. Like, this thing going to be really, really cool as well. And the other thing going to get Shadow Claw, which is also really, really strong. So I'm very excited for this C-Day. Going to be at the... March 13th at yeah normal times again very excited for this community day this was basically I think one that you could have chosen in 2021 as well or 2020 I don't know but one of them like this was like for chosen as well but like nobody took this we have egg hedges which is not very interesting but the Pokemon itself I, I like both of them need you need XL Kenny as well so a very cool community day then we have like in general a March update with what we get. We're gonna get like uh, we're gonna get a low layers here. There's all the basic things there. We're gonna see Welcome to a Lowlayer, which is gonna be your own event, which you're gonna take a look afterwards as well. Festival of of Colors. I would expect we're also gonna get uh, this lone bird there. I don't know, like this dancing bird. It's most likely gonna get there. We have the jungle. There's like a jungle area as well in Alola. Most likely we're gonna get some Pokemon from there. So we already get a lot of Pokemon from Alola in the first month of this season, which is important. And you see already Tapu Coco. I think I'm already gonna show you this today. Um, it's gonna drop in like two and a half hours from you in like New Zealand. I hope I can get some raids in. And I'm gonna show you this thing in most likely Ultra League. We don't know any moves yet while I'm recording. I might put another video out before that. We have to see. Um, but yeah, this looks amazing. Here we have like other things. We have like research breakthrough, alone wall picks, spotlight hours, Paris. You definitely want to play this because you 500 starters. This thing is important. And this was basically it. And here we have again the Alolan, um, yeah, the new Alolan Pokemon that coming into this event, which starts tomorrow already, 10 a.m. local time. I'm gonna grind this event out. The new Pokemon Rowlet, Litten, Papio, Piggy Pack, Young Goose, all really cool. They're all in the wild. You can also get the uh, another collection challenge with Gum Choose, which you also have to get, which is funny. Obtain through evolution. And here we have right in here, Rockruff is basically a new Chinx. So like it's locked behind raids, which is not that cool, but it can be shiny. The shiny looks amazing. So it's going to be very exciting with this as well. And we have Tapu Coco coming. It looks like such a good season. Honestly, it looks so good. I think I'm actually hyped for this um, Go Bad League season as well. I think it's going to be amazing. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. It's only a fast video real quick. I hope you enjoyed this video. Gonna see you like in a few hours for Tapu Coco review. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care. Maybe I'll do rock graph as well. I don't know yet. We have to write for this. I don't have I have 700 XL Kenny or Rack Kenny, so should be fine. But yeah, very a lot of stuff just dropped at the same time. Gonna be exciting. See you next time. Bye.